was a Henry Edmund Cross painting entitled Madame Hector France, um, an oil painting uh, done on canvas in 1891 near the beginning of the Impressionist movement, um, arguably before, uh, but a lot of the defining characteristics of this work, um, you can see how it's painted with not so much strokes, but different dots of color blending together to create that optical illusion. Um, something else fun about this is that the painting has two different perspectives. It's got a downward view of uh, the ground um, and the scenery on which the subject is standing, but it has a, uh, a lower view, um, looking up I mean, um, on the subject, who is Irma Clare the painter Henry Edmund Cross's wife-to-be. Um, this piece is influenced by uh, a lot of Japanese art. Um, you can see the way she's holding the fan uh, in the floral motifs here uh, and the way she's looking. Um, it's very reminiscent of a lot of older uh, Japanese works, um, you know those paintings who would like picture the girl like turning over their shoulder in the kimono with the train like, ah, you caught me there. So it's more of a snapshot than like a still painting. Um, it's an imp this is uh, it's a fun piece. I like the colors. Um, there's a lot of cool tones in this and I really resonate well with a good blue, purple, a nice cool tone. But then we have the pops of pink in the flowers, which is nice and fun. Uh, I also think it's fascinating how Cross did all this without strokes, but with just different dots of color. Um, so yep, that's Madame Hector France, portrait of Irma Claire, 1891, Impressionism, Henry Edmund Cross, thank you.